and whenever you find a good brand that's affordable, it's like, um, yes please! <laughs> What is up you guys? Um, so fair warning before we even get started in this video, I'm actually using my new Canon camera that my boyfriend got me for my birthday and I'm finally getting around to have enough time to sit down, work with it and like get it up and going and I've been taking pictures with it for a little while now but I hadn't actually gotten to film with it because I needed a separate memory card and all that fun nonsense. Anyways he got me the Canon EOS Rebel T5i. Um, I've really really been enjoying it. He got me some extra lenses and a mic and a case and the whole shoot so <laughs> big thank you to my boyfriend Sam. I love him so much and so Yes, before we get into this video, if if any of the lighting looks off, if, um, you know, if it doesn't stay in zoom or if it zooms in better or not zoom focuses better, that will be awesome. But today is going to be a collective makeup haul, a little bit from Sephora, only like three products I think, and then the rest is going to be from Ulta, so I'm just going to include some of the 21 Days of Beauty like deals and stuff. It's a collective haul, so it's kind of like what I've gotten the past like month per se. But yeah, before we get started, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe down below before, you know, before we uh, move on. And I'm sorry if I'm like looking at the viewfinder instead of straight forwards. That's going to be another thing to try to get used to. But let's get started, guys. I've got two bags <laughs> from Ulta and I've got one bag from Sephora. So um, I'm going to start off with my first bag which is some things that I know I got a little while ago and I've just been hanging on to because I haven't had time to film. My life has been crazy guys. So first off I got both of the new Revolution X Rachel Leary palettes. Um, I have actually been using both of these. A lot of the stuff I have actually already been using. Um, I have <coughs> I have really been enjoying this one. A because it comes with a massive mirror, and um, B because all of these shades over here are like face shades and then all these over here are actual um, eyeshadows. So I really do enjoy that it comes with a three different um, shades of bronzers, three different shades of blushes, and then three highlighters, and then all these eyeshadows. It has been really, it's really a beautiful palette and I highly recommend it. It was a good deal. I want to say this is only like $18, $20 for the size of it and what you're getting is just awesome. And then the other Rachel Leary palette, the, palette, palette, this one's called Goddess on the Go and then the blue one which is bigger is the Ultimate Goddess. So inside um, this one has two, two bronzers a highlight maybe it's a little dark for me and then a blush and then nine eyeshadows on this side over here so I've really been enjoying this one a lot more coming into the fall season because it has a lot more warm tones and some rustic colors so I have been enjoying this one as well the shades are really really good highly recommend it to anyone who wants to add some affordable makeup to their collection and then next up, you guys probably already seen this, but I, during the time that I bought this stuff, I picked up the Pure um, collab that they did with Barbie. This collection is beautiful. If you can still get it, I highly recommend going and picking it up. That's the shades. Highly, highly, highly 
recommend getting this palette if you can if it's still in stock online and then here's what the highlighter looks like there we go that's what the highlighter looks like it is really pretty um i've been enjoying the top right shade and then the middle shade the bottom shade is too dark for me so i kind of just use it as like an eyeshadow topper one day am i in focus I'm going to be wondering that the entire video. Am I in focus? <laughs> Sorry, new camera, guys. Bear with me. Um, I also got a few more things in the uh, Makeup Revolution. I really do enjoy drugstore makeup because it's so affordable. And whenever you find a good brand that's affordable, it's like, um, yes, please. <laughs> so they came out with a lot of new stuff lately. I got the Revolution Makeup, this like blush palette, and then they've got some bronzer little quads. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh jeez. Here is what the blush palette looks like. It has a good amount of reflex in it, which I really do enjoy for my blushes. And this I thought was just so, so pretty. <laughs> Um, and then the other thing I got they released was these like glitter, um, like liquid glitter shadows. They have it in four different shades, like a bronzy shade, a gold shade, champagne shade, and then this like pink shade. I will go ahead and swatch this for you guys because it is so pretty. Here's what it looks like. And then the shade I got is called Yours Truly. It comes with a a pink like glitter topper and then like a I don't know, like a I don't know what you call the other one. It's just more of like a iridescent. This camera and how good it focuses in on the colors and it doesn't wash out the colors. So, so excited about that. I really hope you guys enjoy this like better quality of videos I'm going to be able to start putting out for you guys and I'm super excited. I'm going to try to start filming some more and getting out more content for you guys. I'm feeling more into the YouTube groove. Um, and then I also got the Benefit Boing <laughs> the new concealer they came out with. Um, I got mine in the shade 2. It's the Cakeless Concealer. It's really cute packaging. Here's what the component looks like. Um, I have actually tried this out a couple of times and I have, um, I have really been enjoying it and I haven't really found that it's been cakey on me or nothing, so can't really, don't really have nothing bad to say about it. I got a couple of things from TJ Maxx also to combine into this collective haul. I got a couple of Becca products and I've never really seen Becca at, TJ, at my TJ Maxx very often. This is the Becca collab with Chrissy Teigen. I thought it was Teigen. Um, so it comes with um, a bronzer, two highlights, and a blush, and a massive mirror. It is really pretty shades, and I have yet to try this one out, so... If I enjoy it, I'll try to add it into like a, I need to do like a fall favorites or like current favorites or something. I have not filmed the favorites video and I feel like it's been decades. And then on my TJ Maxx, I also got a Becca highlighter and I actually don't own any like single Becca highlighters. I got this one for $16.99 and it retailed for $24. I don't know. It's called Becca Shimmering Skin Perfect. It's the Ocean Glow one and I just thought this was, I thought this one was so beautiful whenever I saw it and I just, I just love how it has like 
so many different colors mixed into it. I'm really excited to play around with this one. I think it's really cute. And then one last thing that I got from TJ Maxx is this Too Faced 2D Foodie Frosted Fruits Highlighter Stick. <laughs> it retails for $16 and I got it for $10.99. I got it in the shade Strawberry Sparkle. And I love the packaging on this. I think it's just so cute. Here we go. And then whenever you open it up, here's what the shade looks like. I think it looks really pretty. Really excited to try this one out. And it smells like strawberries. I've been loving my cream like blushes and I've kind of, I have one cream um, contour shade. I've actually been trying to dip around with that. So now I'm excited to try out a cream highlighter, even though it looks like more of like a cream blush, even though it's called a highlighter stick. So I don't know. And then the last thing that I got from TJ Maxx is this, um, Lime Crime Little Quad Palette in the shade, it's, the palette's called Sunkissed. And then whenever you open it up, there's the shades. The shades are really pretty and I don't know, it kind of just spoke to me. I was like, I need to try that. <laughs> I've never tried anything from Lime Crime. So excited to try out this little palette. And that is it for that bag. <laughs> on to the next bag which that was all stuff that like I got before the 21 days of beauty and then this bag is stuff that I got of things that I got all during the 21 days of beauty and like the first day my mom and I went over there I got quite a bit and then I just got a couple things from the 21 days of beauty like during the sale so like I said this is all collective anywho I'll quit blabbering so I got a few free things. I love during the 21 Days of Beauty, they offer so many free things whenever you purchase a certain amount from like a brand. So the first uh, thing I got is this little set of OPI nail polish. It's the Infinite Shine, it's the Scotland collection. It comes with an orange, a red, a brown, and then a, like your first step before you put the polish on, and then a top coat. So it comes with three colors, um, a base coat and a top coat. And here's what the colors look like. Really excited to use this out. I'm actually gonna paint my toes today because I'm ready to have some fall colored toes. And then for purchasing a certain amount with um, OPI, you got a pair of socks, which is cool. I've never gotten a pair of socks from Ulta. I got the Good Girls Gone Plaid socks. I think these are so cute. <laughs> they're like knee socks and they're like plaid. I thought this was really fun. I got a couple things from Too Faced. I got the new Too Faced watermelon palette and then two of the lip glosses. I really love this palette. I've actually been using this one a little bit too. So it's a watermelon slice and then it's magnetic and it um, like will reconnect. So the, the first watermelon slice is, it's a face palette and it comes with a blush, a bronzer, and a highlighter. And I think they're so cute. And then the next palette is actual eyeshadows and it actually comes with a pressed glitter I believe yeah melon dollar baby is a pressed glitter shade really excited that I got this when I saw this was released I was like oh that is so so cute my mom even got this same palette and she has really really been enjoying this so if you guys were wondering about this palette it's actually really good highly recommend it and then they released like three or four glosses in the collection and i picked up two of them i got the shades mega melon mega melons and a melon reasons 
their lip glosses. Isn't that so cute? I just love the packaging so much. So I'll give these a quick swatch just so you guys can see. One is more pinky and one is more of like a nude color. The bottom two swatches. Are you guys like me when you get new makeup you like to use it but you want to put it back in the carton for like a little while? I don't know. It, please tell me if that's just me or if I'm crazy. <laughs> but like when I get new palettes or new lip products I like to use it, put it back in the package. I even like to keep it in the bag for a little while. Sounds weird. I don't know. And then for purchasing a certain amount with Too Faced you got this free gift set from Too Faced. It comes with four products. You get a mini a mascara, eyeliner, uh, one of the Too Faced hangover face primers, and then a blush. This this bag here, I purchased the other Rachel Leary palette and I got this whole thing of free goodies of Revolution makeup, which this was like a steal. You only had to purchase $15 I think from Makeup Revolution in order to get all of this. You get two palettes in here. Two palettes, two lip products, and like a loose, a flawless foil like single shadow. And so here's the single shadow. You get these two lip products which is like a pink, sh a pink shade and this like really pretty orange which I'm actually really excited about this orange for fall. I could see me like actually wearing that. You get that and then the two palettes you get one is a um, powder contouring palette and then the other one is this like nudes uh, nude palette. So you got two palettes two lip products, and a single foil shadow. All that for just spending 15 bucks with Makeup Revolution. This was like, I was like, whoa, this is so cool. 21 Days of Beauty like products I got was the Urban Decay All Nighter Longwear Mattifying Weightless Pressed Powder, and then the Tutti Fruity Sparkling Pineapple Eyeshadow Palette. This one was on half off and I got it for 14 and this one was half off and I think I got it for like 15 or something like that. So really excited about these two products. One of the hot buys was the face palettes from Beauty Bakery. You could get the bronzing palette or the blush palette and I wanted to get the blush palette because the packaging on this is so cute. It's a cotton candy um, themed palette so when you open it up you like pull out the palette here and it has these like little poofs these little like poofs of cotton candy <laughs> it's so adorable and then when you open it up you you don't get a mirror or anything but these are the blushes they are so pretty I haven't used this one yet um, but I do like that all the blushes are like um, they have like shimmer to them. I love shimmery blushes. So this was a hot buy and I believe it was like the Beauty Bakery stuff was 30% off during the 21 Days of Beauty. I highly recommend trying this out because it's a really good deal. Another um, hot buy that's going on is the whole Smashbox Crystallized collection. I believe is 40% off right now. I'm probably wrong on all these like numbers and percentages and everything but I wanted to try out their crystallized highlighter the packaging on this is just stunning can we just pause a minute and appreciate this it's all like crystallized up here and then when you open it up that's the um the, the shade of the highlighter and you do get a nice mirror up here so I am going to go ahead and swatch this for you guys because I have actually used this highlighter and it is just so beautiful. Here's it swatched right here. It is so pretty and like holographic and iridescent and I love it. So pretty. And let's see, the last two things I got from Ulta are these ColourPop 
blush sticks. I got mine in the shade More's More and Aloha. Colourpop recently released um, blushes and like cream formula and you know I'm all about the cream formula right now guys. <laughs> So I see a cream blush or like now I'm going to be looking into cream like contours. I'm just like, mm, I need that. <laughs> so let's see. I'll swatch these for you real quick. The shade Aloha is a little bit more, it's a little darker. And then the shade More is More actually has like kind of like a shimmer to it. And that's why I picked up that one because... I love shimmery blushes. So that is Aloha up here and then more is more is this one down here. Yep, really excited about that. So that was the end of this Ulta bag and then a few things I, I've recently gotten at Sephora is the new Smashbox Full Coverage Studio Skin 24 Hour Foundation. I've been on the hunt to find a foundation that actually will withstand my oily skin. And I actually have found that the Smashbox Photo Finish Oil and Shine Control that is like time releasing. This stuff has actually really helped my oily skin. It has helped my makeup look better as the day progresses because sometimes my days can start at like 5 a.m. and I won't be taking my makeup off till like 9 and 10 o'clock at night. So I have very long days of this makeup being on my face and for me to have such oily skin I've been on the hunt for at least a primer and a foundation that will like work well together and this primer has been working really good with like a lot of my foundations. I've been trying it out so highly recommend this guys. This will for sure be in a favorites video if I film one. And then during, what was it, the Labor Day? Was that the holiday that was recent? Labor Day I believe. They had the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea palette. It was on sale during Labor Day. And I was like, mmm, I've seen that palette and just, I've always just thought it's so cute. It has got the water and the turtle. It's upside down. <laughs> the little water and the turtle and everything. And then the shades inside have just always called to me. Even though this palette is like a year old. Something like that. It's been out for a really long time. Since early spring maybe. It's been a while. Anyways, I have not actually used this one. I did swatch it when I first got home. Just to see what I thought about it. And it does smell like vanilla because, you know, Tarte Shadows always smell like vanilla. But I am really excited to have that in my collection. Plus, getting it on sale was, like, more of a reason why I was willing to pick it up. Because it is more of an expensive palette. And then the last thing that I got from Sephora is this um, Hydration To Go by Laneige. It comes with five products in here. It's like a little like mini like gift set thing type. I don't know. It's called Hydration To Go. It's for combination to oily skin. You get a multi deep clean cleanser, a water bank hydro essence, a water bank hydro gel, a water sleeping mask, and a lip sleeping mask. And most of the time when products are like water based, that's always better for oily skin. So I'm really excited to try that and I've been wanting to try the lip sleeping mask that so many people rave about and I wanted to try out the mini version so I was glad that it was in this little set. Alright guys, if you've managed to make it this far into the video, um, kudos to you. <laughs> but um, this is gonna like sum it up for today's video. I really, really hope you guys enjoy it and... Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Before you leave, hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of my uploads. And guys, don't forget that you are absolutely stunning. Bye y'all, thanks for watching. Hey guys, so if you haven't subscribed already, then click the circular icon in the middle. Or if you wanna watch another great video, then click the one on the left or the one on the right.